Delicious morning tea. You know it's afternoon for me here. I got chamomile, so I'm nice. I'm nice and chill with my nice chamomile tea. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. It is another live episode of Ink Tank. We are Ink Tank Live. And today, I got two brilliant artists. I got Orlando Arosena and Mike Groves. And so I'm going to bring Orlando on first. What's going on, Orlando? Where are you? Where are you? I don't see you. I don't see you. Orlando. ¿Qué pasa, hermano? What's going Colombia. Yeah, you What's ditched up, me, brother? man. You you left me alone in New York, man. I thought we were going to do like an all New York, <laughs> all New York section. But now you flew down to Columbia to get away from me. What are you doing yeah, down there? Man. Fell in love, you know, and I had to basically say peace to uh, NYC. Oh, you man. Know, got fan and, and, you know, peeps up there like yourself. So, I mean, you, know, you guys are holding it down for me, man. It's cool. Yeah. Dude, we're keeping it. We're, we're keeping it real for you up here, my friend. I'm eating all the pizza, all the bagels. I got it. I don't know what you do for that down there, though, man. Oh, dude, we we, we don't even have that, man. Honestly, you, you don't even have man. I miss those little corner carts of those dudes that sell like the the coffee and the bagel deal for like a dollar fifty, man. Every yeah. morning. Oh man, we ain't got that, man. Dude, a lot of people don't know the story. They don't know the story. like bacon, egg, and cheese. Bacon, egg, and cheese. Oh. I went to. Dude, I went to a bagel store once and I'm like, I'm in New York. And some guy who was a New Yorker walked in and he was like, he was like, can I have um, a roll with eggs and cheese and bacon? I was like, where, who are you? <laughs> bacon, egg and cheese. One word. Bacon, egg and cheese. <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot. We're, <laughs> I forgot For we're supposed real, to be man. ink tanking, right? So I got to give you a drawing prompt. I got to give right. you a drawing. We're, we're jumping right into that. Holy well, I'm gonna cow, get you started. Man. We can we can chat. Day, do a little do a little mondo dance or something. Listen, get I can. It's like I, boom, here comes a yeah. Here listen, I'm gonna give up? you the drawing. So in the background, and I'm gonna bother you in the background, trying to throw you off. But I think so. It's it's October, so it's the spookiest month of the year. I think I'm gonna have you do Medusa. 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 Oh, damn. Is that too much? All right. All right, we're gonna have to keep this like you know somewhat posh and, and clean, right? We can't be doing like Medusa from Clash of the Titans or or the other ones where she's just like sans bikini top type of thing and all that. Right? Listen, well, well, you know what? We're, we're all we're adults wild. here. They were pretty, they were pretty wild back then in describing how they're dressed or not dressed, you know. But right, whatever. Listen, you're the artist, okay? I'll I'll, I'll leave some interpretation. And you know what? It's also you know, Mexifunk, right? If you want to put a little spin on it, you know what I mean? Mi mix your yeah. mythologies if you want. Yeah, no doubt, man. No doubt. So so let me get started over you, man. So what, what what do you want to chat about, my brother? Well, let's uh, let's talk about you as an artist, right? So you're a vector artist, right? But I want to start like at the beginning. Like when did you start and like what got you started on drawing? Like were you always went straight to digital or, uh, you know, or did, well, obviously you didn't go straight to digital, but what got you started drawing? Oh man, what got me started drawing? Uh, Derek Riggs, man, Iron Maiden. Oh. You're yep. speaking my language, man. You're speaking my language. Bro. You know, um, all the album covers during that time, which I really miss so much now, um, you know, was of, of a whole different time period that, that, that I, you know, you just can't go back to so quickly. You know, I was, I was uh, chilling out with my wife the other night and I was like, you know, we were on YouTube and we're chilling out, uh, watching old music videos. And I was like, check this out. And I was showing her like Twisted Sister and Rat and Qu Quiet Riot, bunch of, you know, uh, yeah, of, of, this, of old, old, old metal at the time, you know, and uh, she was just bugging out. She was like, oh, my God, you know, <laughs> just just from all the costuming, you know, and then I described to her uh, how cool it was to go into like these record shops and be. And and be totally like down with, with with the cover art, man. Especially if it was like a double LP and you open it up, and and you know you just had extended artwork. Um, Dude, that that doesn't exist anymore with like you know the CDs and and I even told her I was like, man, when when there was a competition between the uh, album, the twelve inch cover art, and like when compact discs came out, remember they were like packaging this long, very tall, yeah, narrow dude. Artwork. 
what a waste of cardboard, but still it was, they, they had the full art, you know what yeah. I mean? I remember buying totally. like, I think it was like an MOD album and it was like the whole front was all the artwork, but then you get the vinyl and it's all in there. But dude, Iron Maiden, those covers, those covers are out of control. And I remember buying, they did like a re-release of the CDs and I bought the entire set of them and like the whole spine, all of them lined up to make more art. And it was, it was, it was insane. Those are some of my favorite somewhere in time, dude, that album uh, cover. Dude, I had, I had the uh, door sized poster to that man. Oh my God. And it would just piss, the sh just piss my mom off, man. She'd be like walking through her bedroom and she'd be like, why do you have that on you? I mean, she was literally like really cool at times. But sometimes she reminded me of like the uh, headmaster uh, dude from some of the uh, Twisted Sister videos. Yeah. A pledge pin on yeah. your uniform. You know, she, she was like, you're listening to devil music, man. I'm like, yeah, yeah, but I love it. The best part is, is that like, you know, my mom did the same thing. Like she used to throw out my stuff all the time, like my heavy metal posters and t-shirts and whatever. She's like, this is a, and I'm like, you don't understand. This is part of the whole heavy metal experience. You're, you're giving in to that experience yourself. You are, you are <laughs> part of the process now, mom. Thank you. <laughs> Seriously. Thanks for being part of the script, mom. Yeah. You thanks for being, you are part of the story. Oh, see already with the Medusa. Look at this. So now oh, here man, we go. I'm, I'm just trying. I'm just trying, bro. You know, seriously. We're just so having now, fun. It, for those who are not familiar, can you go into detail of what exactly vector art is as it different differentiates from other traditional art? Because I know you also yeah, do traditional art. I've seen that too. too. Without getting too geeky or anything, man. You know, um, the difference between vector art and like Photoshop and all the other applications outside of, you know, 3D world is that Photoshop works on like this thing called a voxel engine. So you're dropping down bits and bits of little pixels upon pixels upon pixels, right? Whereas vector is all mathematical, calculated, straight on graphing, you know? So uh, what that means is that I can't, I can't really blend colors together like you do in Photoshop where you're smearing colors all around. You know, I have to basically try to either do them via a gradient, you know, right. via gradient, or try to overlap colors because everything's a shape. It's almost like a piece of glass or a piece of plastic that you're laying on top of one another. Right. And after more than 17 years of, you know, taking the uh, odd road to uh, play with Illustrator, uh, I've gotten to, 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 to become comfortable with, with a majority of it. You know, it's, it's still my favorite video game and it's still the one thing that, gets me to almost want to throw my computer out the window when it's not <laughs> allowing me to do things, you know? Oh, oh we, <laughs> we got, we got two questions coming in from, from uh, Facebook from Annie. Uh, what's your vector, Victor? I mean, what's your vector, Victor? I mean, my vector. I love, I love uh, air. I love airplane, uh, airplane humor. Dude, that's uh, that's one that, of my favorite movies. Too. <laughs> so uh and jazz asked uh does orlando have a favorite color palette to work with um well i'm keeping it light right now man i love going dark and sinister uh and foreboding um but i guess today i'm just we just jumped right in here man i mean we could we could go dark Wait, hold on man let me let me switch things up real quick man this is your this is your party man this is your party. Oh, dude, but you know what, man? I, I'm, I'm, I'm just chilling in, in under your roof, so to say, bro. You know what yeah. I mean? Listen. Listen, I appreciate it. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, dark, the darkness. Embra embrace the darkness. Embrace it. So, uh, but, so this is your favorite video game, huh? Yeah, well, you know, that's what I like to, to say, just because it's got twists and turns and evil villains, you know, that, 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 don't allow me to basically do exactly what I do when I want to do it. So it's like, you know, dude, it's just a lot of fun, man. Seriously. Yeah. That's the, listen, if you can't have fun with it, then um, and it's not worth doing half the time, right? Uh, dude, man, that's, that's, that's my motto for a lot of what I do, man. Seriously. It's, it's when I team up with, when I get the opportunity to team up with folks, you know, for like, you know, in the movie biz, um, I just want to make, I just want to make sure that we could have fun with it. Because the moment that you're not having fun with it and it just becomes just grueling, then 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 it's just like, oh man, you know, right. it, it's terrible, man. You know, it's it's a buzzkill. Right. Listen, you I know, was so 
I was looking at some of the ones. So some, okay. One of my favorite things is alien. And I showed you before uh, uh, on my phone, my wallpaper is your alien piece. And then I was looking at the Batman ones that you did the, the 75th anniversary and, and even uh, the Captain Marvel print, which that you did with Sajil, mm -hmm. which is probably one of my favorites for so. And I'm dude, I'm in, I'm like you, I'm into dark, heavy metal, all that, you know, I'm always wearing a black t-shirt, but dude, the colors on that are out of control. So like, I see a little bit of a, like a New York, what's that called? A uh, 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 art deco sort of style to a lot of that, to a lot of that. So like, do you, is that like something that really inspired you like in, in that style, especially yeah. as a New Yorker? Former no, New Yorker, sorry. You know, like what I really loved about, you know, I, I love I love just art in general. I love art history and I love checking things out from different schools, from different cultures. And I even, you know, one of my first early jobs before I jumped into, you know, this career, so to say, this path, I was actually a, a security guard over at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, you know. Did and you get to break I, any skulls? I, oh, dude, you know, I, I, I might have kicked you out. One time for manhandling the uh, sculptures at the uh, gardens, or whatever. It was a studying. <laughs> I was studying, okay. <laughs> but no, honestly. So, like you know, art, you know, I, I love Art Deco because when I was doing some some of my aerosol, my airbrushing, um, I love these like really soft fades of colors going into one another. And um, Art Deco for me has a lot of that besides geometric shapes and the lighting that's involved. Uh, so I like, I like, I like to go there and I like to, to, to take it from there. Plus I'll be honest with you. I hated, I hated color. You know, when I first started off, I would just draw black and white ballpoint, right. whatever it might be. And I was terrified of color. And I, I'm one of those folks that I'm like, Oh, you know what? Well, I finally got to a point where I said, you know what, if I'm, if I'm going to be so terrified of something, I might as well make it my bitch. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I was like, you know, I went head deep into it. And nowadays, you know, folks are, you know, when I do a job and I, and I don't use enough color, they're like, oh no, man, you, you gotta, you gotta use some of that crazy color that those, those, those fades and, and those overlapping things. And, I, and, and it's like an acid trip. And I'm like, you said it, not me, man. You know, yeah. it's all good. <laughs> that cover good. you did, that cover you did for uh, Empire, right? For, for Infinity War. That Thanos yeah. one that they, I, I know Sideshow made a print of that too, but dude, that's one of those ones that I'm like, I, I, you know, you know, you regret the art that got away or the piece of, you know, the statue or the toy, whatever it is. I'm kicking myself because the colors and the explode, dude, the way you made those colors explode in every direction. You know what I mean? That's intense. Oh, dude. Thanks, man. I, you know, I had a, I had a lot of fun with that one specifically. Um, they, uh, you know, they called me up. We chatted about it. We had fun with it, you know. And uh, damn, this 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 <laughs> this Medusa is coming out like she's from Ludlow Street, bro. <laughs> Listen, this is your Medusa. However, she looks is, is the way that she was meant to be, right? Dude, you know, honestly, having a chat and drawing isn't the most easiest thing, man. But that's my uh, job. Yeah, Putting you to the test. <laughs> honestly, we could do this like blindfolded. Uh, yeah. But no, man, that 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 that. that Empire piece was was fantastic. Thank you so much to the whole Empire crew. Um, I submitted about four sketches, and they they're all like, "Hey, let's let's go in this direction." And and you you know you 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 do what you got to do. You throw what you got to throw onto it. And uh, the level of just uh, just hands off was beautiful. You know they they were just like really into the collaboration, but they're like, "Hey, man, you're the professional. You you have fun with it. You do what you want to do." And I was just like, "Yeah, definitely." And now, from what I hear, I mean, if you need one, if you really need one, from what I hear, you go to Burbank, and um, Kevin Feige, president, has it up on his wall, so you could just oh. knock on his door and be like, "Hey, man, can I borrow that from sometime?" Me and you know? me and him are we're like we're tight. Me and him are tight. I'll, I'll call him up right now. I'll call him up right now. I'll get it. Here, call him up right now, man. Get him on the show. That's it. All right, hold on. And just a surprise guest, Kevin Feige, showing up. To <laughs> <laughs> to our live stream, to our oh, live stream. Man. So, oh, oh, you know, by the way, I'm I'm liking how grumpy Medusa is. I mean, she's she's not happy. She's not dude, a happy she's lady. Like, she's dude. You, did you know that her sister was Witch Hazel from uh, Bugs Bunny? Man, <laughs> really? They're, yeah, I believe it. I believe it. She did have. By the way, I'm big into that that story. Like, because she did have two sisters, right? Yeah, she did, man. 
She All right, totally now did. It's time for a mythology lesson, everyone. This is a this is a trick. Ink Tank is now a mythology class. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. So. Well, you know what? <laughs> it's it's a beautiful thing about about uh, mythology in general and how like you know how it gets interpreted throughout the generations and you know I mean that's 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 the whole love love factor for like comic books, isn't it? Yeah. It's a new mythology. Comic books are essentially the new mythology because I mean, you see how people get into it. They get hardcore into it. People fight over it. I mean, it's it, it is. It's it's. Uh, what happened? Did you delete it? You starting from scratch? What are we doing now? Think about maybe maybe starting up another one, man. You know, that's like, it. That, that, that's, that's her on, on 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 crack, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Medusa in a snowstorm. That's what that's what that other one was. <laughs> dude, you should be an artist, man. Next time I come up with the piece, man, I'm gonna be like, dude, can you give me a name, like a handle for this piece, man? Dude, I, I, I listen that's what i'm here for i'm here to inspire because i'm so inspirational so now all right so now since i distract you <laughs> since i keep distracting you right no, i want to no, 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 keep on going dude this is i, I want to go i want to go in that same thing i want to i want to find out about other things like when you draw yeah do you have like background noise background distractions and you know recommend stuff for people like music i mean obviously we're heavy metal guys but music yeah. podcasts movies tvs what what do you what are you binging what do you oh, what do you it got totally playing in the background on, it totally depends on 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 uh on the mood man I, i'm really big on some music you know it's just not metal or speed mariachi bands you know um speed mariachi we need to delve into that hold on dude no 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 that that's that's my uh that's hope, hopefully something that I could at least conjure up in the next within the next ten years. I, I've always wanted to have a mariachi speed metal band or speed mariachi band. But no, man, uh, music is a must. Um, if I'm working, if, if I'm playing on on doing a, a collaboration with like a movie studio, then obviously I've gone through the movies, uh, did my research, did my competitive landscape. You know, that sounds pretty heady, but what what I mean by that is that I'm actually uh, going through and and checking out uh, what's been established, what's already been, you know, put out there by the masses for this particular, you know, uh, theme or, or topic. You know, I, 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 you know, you want the artwork if you're doing it for a particular group or a commission. You want it to make sure that it stands out, that that, that nobody's really done the same idea or the same characterization of it. You know, sure. um, so yeah, I go through a lot of things, but what's really plain is is music. Music is a must. I mean. There's times where my wife is chilling out and she's in the, in the studio playing with the dog and they're, they're just going at it. And I love my wife and I love my dog, but I'll be like, man, you're killing my vibe. The music, <laughs> oh, the music. It's almost like when, you, when you're when you on. She's watching this on the other, in her studio, man, right next door to mine. She's probably yeah. going to come right in here with like the broom and knock me over the head. Yo, listen, that's part of the show. Baby, I love you, baby. That's it. He's only saying nice things. That, that was a glitch. That was an audio glitch, what you heard. But that's like, you know, like when you're, when you're, uh, <laughs> she's yelling from the other room. That's great. Yeah, she's like, I love you. <laughs> oh, we got a question from Bradley on YouTube, uh, plus compliment. Uh, he has the alien anniversary art print. That, that, I think that was the one that I was showing you before that I have on my, my wallpaper. Uh, he wants to know how the posters and prints with all the foil and sparkle. I think that's done by the printers, right? Yeah, that's definitely done by the printers. Um, and I think they, they, they take it upon themselves to, to figure out what, what, what title or what poster might best deserve that type of added, added treatment. Right. I mean, yeah. do you take that into consideration when you draw, like thinking like, okay, so, you know, cause some artists, they, they have to draw for 2d, 3d, whatever it is. Do you, do you ever take into consideration like, Oh, they might want to do a foil variant. Let me add more white. You know what I mean? To this particular oh, yeah. drawing. Definitely. It, it all, it all depends. Um, a lot of that stuff gets, gets um, thought about like within the first few rounds. And if it's not mentioned on the early on that they're like, Hey, we're going to do this as a foil variant. And, you know, it's always good to discuss things early on in, in the, in the uh, early stages of any project, because towards right. the very end, like I'll have, uh, I've had instances in the past where, you know, uh, brands or, or agencies are like, hey, you know, we just finished the whole damn project, 200 layers, this, that, the other thing. And then they're like, all right, can we get a time lapse of it? Yeah. And it's like, uh, time lapse. Do you understand what that means? That means yeah. that I should have been recording the video while I was 
creating the damn thing. And they're like, no, start oh, from scratch. Just can't you just make it up? <laughs> and I think that's when I started doing kind of like my layer reveals, like like you know, my layer clickers going, okay, well, I'll try to try to do my best to try to give you something that 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 resonates with like, you know, with right. what you want. Um but all in all, some some there's projects out there that'll come out and they'll they'll change gears, they'll switch it up on you and, and they'll totally be like, you know, hey. Um, somebody in the office just mentioned this. Can we can we do this instead? And you know you, you don't want to be you don't want to be uh, against anything. You just want to make sure that you bring everything uh, to a proper state of of collaboration. You know, it's like right. hey, you know, you should have mentioned that before. Now I got to like you know, we got to we got to recalibrate the estimate. Right, right, and right, right. It's always it's always tough, man. It's not easy. It's not easy, but. Uh, that's why that's why I say that if you're not having fun, man, raise your hand, stop the ground, you know, throw a nerf bullet at, at your client's head, get their attention and be like, hey, time out, let's hit the pause button. We gotta discuss this. Right, right. Because right. if you don't, you know, you're the one that ends up getting screwed and then the quality of the project ends up getting screwed and everybody ends up getting screwed at the end and uh, you end up losing faith with with the people that actually commissioned you. Right. So, yeah, I mean, I guess it's like it's easier to lay everything out on the table at once. You know what I mean? So have oh, as definitely. much detail as possible. Definitely. But um, I've been having a lot of fun this, this, you know, even though it's a pan pandemic year and, you know, it sucks to hear that people are getting laid off and, and you know, projects have been put on hold indefinitely. Um, I, I've still I've still had the benefit of, of keeping busy with personal projects or or here's one for you people out there, turning uh -oh. your personal projects into an actual commission. Like, you know, don't be afraid to, to reach out and do your research via LinkedIn or via the web to figure out who the creative directors are. I mean, if you pick up a magazine or if you go online to a particular magazine and look at, you know, the, the credit block or the masthead of, what, of who's involved, you could easily start picking up names of who creative directors are and art directors or, you know, editor in chiefs. And then start sending them emails or hit them right. up uh, and tag them on, on, on your, on whatever Twitter or Instagram or Facebook post that you have. Um, oh, it can open up opportunities people, for you. Yeah. People tend to think that there's like, oh, well, you know, I don't, I don't go out much and I, I'm not that popular and I don't know people It has nothing, nothing, nothing to do with that. Right. It has every bit of, of actually, you know, um, doing the legwork and figuring out where these people are and how to reach them and, you know, um, you know, going out for drinks or at least meeting them for lunch or a meeting or a briefing. That's all. That's all extra stuff, man. You know. Yeah. So I mean, like like you said, it's about it's about not giving up on yourself, right? It's about putting in that work because you know I, you do probably you know talk to a lot of artists and I talk to a bunch of artists that you know may not feel that they've got it or or you know why isn't it coming together for them but you know like you're saying do that legwork I mean that's a whole other level that I didn't, I didn't even think about when I you know when I talk to my friends who do art you know it's like tag those people find those people who are in charge of everything tag them bring their attention to it you know what I mean oh definitely 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 want to do that because um it's important What's also important is, is actually, you know, supporting, supporting your friends and supporting your artists. Um, they've, uh, it's not, it's not easy, you know, it's not easy at all. No. Look at you. Now you're really concentrating. I see it really concentrating. No, right now, right now, right now I'm just like doodling, having a little bit of fun. Fun is always the most important part. Well, so so speaking of <laughs> speaking of artist friends, do you have anyone that uh, that that we should know about or or inspirational artists other than our uh, our Iron Maiden oh, friend? Are you kidding me? This is where we start, like, all right, you know, saying what's Let's up go. to the rest of the family, you know, to the rest of the fan. Yeah. Uh, yo, what up, Jesse Urban Aztec? What's going on, brother? Uh, Jesse, Jesse's a powerhouse. He's probably you know under a bridge right now, painting a new mural. Yeah, you, know, you got to uh, see. My, you can't see it, but I got an I got an Urban Asta sticker right here on my laptop. I can't you, without closing it. You can't see it, <laughs> dude. He he he's awesome, man. I'm hoping one day, next time I fly out west, man, that we could at least catch up, crack open some spray cans, and just attack a wall, man. Um, you know who else, man? 
Tracy. Tracy oh, Tabera, Tracy. man. Tracy. Never got to meet him in person, but we totally DM left and right. Uh, dude, my man's opening up crazy on, on the vinyl toy tip. I mean, they, they both are. You know, it's, yeah. it's incredible. I love, I love, I love their energy, man. Dude, Tracy, I, we, when we did that drink and draw and Tracy showed up with his background, with his beach background, pretend with a fan on or whatever, blowing his hair. I forget what it was. And mm. oh my gosh, I was like, of course, Tracy, of course. Of course, only Tracy can pull that off. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 man. He's, he's, man, when you talk about peeps that have like really good positive energy around them, you know, that don't get sour or egotistical or too heady about yeah, man, I'm an artist, and you know, I, I do stuff for sideshow. You know, um, those two come come to the top of the game, man. You know, yeah. Um, you know who else is who's mad cool as well? Hmm. Some of the people behind the scene. You know, hmm. you, Kristen, uh, Gracie, um, yeah. Ian McDonald, who who uh, also is another artist, another oh. power hitting artist. Yeah. Uh, but I'll tell you, you know. He's got a funny accent and he's got like a really cool watch. Um, Andy the Brit, dude. Oh, yeah, Andy. Oh, shout out to Andy. <laughs> shout out to Andy. You want to talk about a heavy metal, a heavy metal Andy. dude? Like, he's my metal dude. We were talking about uh, Judas Priest covers and how, like, those should be, you know, toys and stuff. Like, at, at, you know, uh, Screaming for Vengeance. Oh. Imagine that as a three, as a toy. Dude, it's cold. Give me Screaming for Vengeance. Give me, I mean, that's the Hellion, right? And then you have yeah. the, uh, What's the other one for um, the one the the, the 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 beast with the horns? Uh, yeah, yeah, with the T. Oh, what, what album is that? Now we're gonna be like a, anyone in the comments knows uh, who who what album that was. What was that? Screaming for uh, Vengeance is the Eagle, right? Oh yeah, wait, well, wait. The Eagle, uh, they, they had names on the back of, of the comic. Yeah. You know, they actually put the names of what the car- of the of what the beasts were, and like the the Eagle was called the Hellion. Yeah. Right. I can't remember what the other beast was called. Oh, and by the way, Ron Urena, Lorena's on. Uh, Facebook said, look up Metalachi. It's heavy metal mariachi. So we're getting closer. Yes. And then uh, uh, we got two other two faith. other comments. Defenders of the Faith. Yes. That beast, right? That Oh, man, that thing was amazing. So uh-huh, Bradley totally. from YouTube wants to know how you prioritize your art. Uh, if I'm getting paid, that's very, very important. If I'm not getting paid, then it's just me. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's an easy priority right <laughs> right i mean <laughs> what puts dinner on the table no, honestly <laughs> yeah. what, the, what the hell is that no man honestly uh prioritize on by the by the calendar seriously no. uh deadlines due dates briefings skype calls um gotta gotta keep track of that stuff especially when you're not on the same time time slot as uh, as the people that are briefing you or that you're meeting up with i'm always always like oh my god what time is it over in california man oh two hours all right cool what time is it in new york oh it's one hour what time is it over in england oh man that's another seven hours spreadsheets man spreadsheets spreadsheets bro i'm a a whole way from the bronx man i i I deal with like you know actual tell that uh posts you know what i mean yeah well listen we're not kids anymore, man. We gotta do, <laughs> we gotta do spreadsheets. Okay. <laughs> we're see how you would now, man. Yeah, we gotta see spreadsheets. So, so now I'm lo- I'm loving this new Medusa, but uh we're getting close to wrapping up. So I wanna know, is there anything you wanna plug? Is there anything you wanna plug before we uh before we wrap this up? Look at this Medusa. Uh well, anything that I wanna plug. Well, you know, I love my wife, you know, Yetsi Thamel. Yeah. Uh seriously, she she's the best thing in my life. Uh, but I don't know. I've, I've, I've just handed off my 30th, um, steel case, um, with uh, shout factory. So uh, something to keep, to keep an eye out for, you know, they, 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 they're like really great with horror movies mm-hmm. and I can't mention anything other than that. Other, uh, besides that playing with Lionsgate, keep an eye open for, for that one as well. Uh, I just love movies, man. I'm trying to break into some video games and, and, you know, um, we've got a few things with that going on as well. I got to say what's up to my whole post of posse, the whole crew over there, you know, the crew over at AMP, um, the crew over at uh, the Moore Gallery. Didn't think I'd say you guys, did you? <laughs> ah, you know, um, I got to say what's up to my boy, El Marzito, who I tag up with 
over in Colorado from time to time, that whole crew. Um, who else? Um, Revista Cine, you know, I've seen it. These guys over in, in Colombia that are uh, totally big supporters of me. Um, who else? Dude, can New I York? give a shout out to like, you know, the heavy duty hardware that I play with, you know, Z by HP as well. Those yeah. guys, Adobe. Um, who else, man? Dude, I got to give thanks to whoever came up with, you know, with, with the whole world of Gotham City, man. I'm a big Batman fanatic. So, you know, that, that goes into that. Uh, well, that, that's seventy fifth Batman, man. Dude, those, listen, it's a, it's like the Oscars, man. It's a, like the Oscars. I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna hug you, and I'm just gonna be like, "All right, it's time to go. It's time to go." <laughs> you, you're, if that happens, your beard is gonna look like I'm gonna be like one of the Ramones, man, because I'm a really short guy. Oh, you yeah. know? I'm gonna be like, be like a Ramone. beard wig. It'll be a beard wig <laughs> for you. Be, that'll look terrifying. But listen, thank you for chatting with me. Thank you for drawing that awesome Medusa. And hopefully, we get to do this again, man. Hopefully, you know. You come up to New York, we'll chill. We'll go to a Comic Con, go out west. We'll ha we'll hang out with Jesse. We'll make it a thing, bro. Let, let's make it happen, man. And then on the return flight, you guys come down, chill out in uh, in Bogota, Colombia. Absolutely. All right. All right, man. Well, well thank you, man. you. Thank you so much, Sideshow. Thank you, Alex. Have a good one, brother. All right, that was some awesome, uh, awesome information we got there. Listen, remember what do you what do they say? Do not give up. Work hard. Put in the work. But uh, now. Now we got, oh my God, we have Mike Poop Bird Groves showing up. Uh-oh, you're on camera, man. I was just looking at, sorry. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have, well, it doesn't matter if you have pants on or not. <laughs> so here we go. My man, Mike Groves, the Poop Bird. Tattoo, ah. what do we say? What do we come to the conclusion? Tattooist, tattooer, tattooizer, tattooitionist? What is, is the word? Something? I don't, that was such a whirlwind, I don't. I don't know, man. Ta tattoo artist? Tattoo artist, probably. Yeah. Let's go with that. So, right. my man, Mike Groves. So, uh, first of all, first uh -huh. of all, what I want to show you, I, I got, I got my little totem over here. Hold on. Very nice. Behemoth. I got my behemoth with me at all times. Lovely. All mine are packed up. Uh, well, listen. So, uh, so let's let's talk about you. Let's talk about the 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 genesis of the life of Mike Groves, right? Oh, hi. Yeah, remember you, you you promised your fans I was going to make you cry. You promised on Instagram I was going to make you cry. So I'm going to get into the really hard hitting questions and hard stories. So I guess how did you get glasses? I'm feeling a little seasick. So I might even puke and start crying. Oh yes, you get a double. Yeah, I'm going to get a double whammy. So you know what? Remember I, I threatened you. I threatened you with what I was going to tell you to draw. Right? I uh, know. Listen, it's not that bad, man. I think you're gonna like it because I saw I was watching your Instagram and I was like, bam, I know that I know what to make him draw. Sideshow Mort. It's we're coming up on Spooktacular. You could do your own version. Just make me a make I, me a cool. I have to remember exactly what he looks like. Oh. Just be inspired by Mort. Be no, inspired. No. Make a zombie of your choosing. I can do this. I can do yeah. this. You could do sideshow mort because man, right. spooktacular is is starting. Oh my gosh. What is that next week? Oh man! Are we not? Oh. Yet? No, no, not yet. We're it. It is upon us. It is upon us. That that means no sleep. It's a twenty second. It's Thursday the twenty second. Oh, okay, okay. Get mad coffee. So you're gonna make us our little mascot for for. Uh, can't, do for right. can't do it. No, no, the glasses. I just don't want to puke on. You. No, I know, I know. Listen, don't listen. If you puke on it, that can make it an extra level of horror. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? The zombie puke, man. Come on. You've played Left 4 Dead. So uh so oh let's God, Left 4 Dead. That was hmm. I miss those days. You need a bloater. So uh listen, let's talk about let's talk about Mike. Let's talk about young Mike. Let's talk about young Mike Groves. The poop bird. Oh my god, what are the, you're making a lot of layers here? Um how did you get your start? Just ignore that here. I'll I'll yeah, just ignore that. There you go. So Don't how did you get your star drawing before, before you got into tattooing, how yeah. did you get into start, your star drawing? Uh, it was my grandfather was a set designer, um, for TV station, all of our, you know, lots of, uh, art supplies available. Lots of every Christmas would be here, try this, or here's a box full of, you know, different kinds of paper, different, uh, pen styles or whatever. Uh, my folks were pretty supportive of that lifestyle uh, because 
I couldn't play any sports and I didn't like to be outside. So uh, that, all, that all worked out pretty well. Uh, you said excuse to work for me. I'm the same way. I don't like sports. And I don't like to go outside. Uh, okay. uh, yeah. So there was a lot of support uh, for me to carry on just sitting in my room drawing. Uh, whatever. Jump blood. You know, I'd play, play video games or whatnot. And then when I'd finish, finish a game, I would do some sort of like little art piece to give myself my own little like trophy of something I finished or whatever. Uh. <laughs> you give yourself a trophy. Listen, that's, that's good. You know what? No one's, if you got to support yourself first, right? I'm my own biggest fan. Mm, um, I almost spit out my tea. I'm my own biggest fan. Oh, we got, we got a, a question from Jamie Dewberry on uh, Facebook for tattoo projects. Do you pre visualize on a computer or on paper? Man, I tell you what, the uh, the iPad, whoa, that is not what I expected that to be. Um, the iPad changed everything. Uh, we, being able to just draw on the iPad and make your changes, talk to the clients about different uh, missions or things they want to add on. So, yeah, I do everything on the iPad now. Yeah. Um, I love it as, you know, I've been tattooing a long time and you feel bad about putting away all the pens and, and paper and everything and going digital, but it has changed. It has changed everything. Uh, made my job so much easier. Well, I like uh, to hear that because you've been tattooing what? How many, how many years? Like 20 years, you said? Right, right around 20 years, yeah. Man. Uh, Man. My beginning is, you know, those first years are a little ambiguous because you're just kind of learning and tattooing right. little things. Uh, uh, oh, somebody said I'm cut off. Hi. Hi. Uh, so how do you transition from, from doing just art around the thing to doing tattoos? How do I do what? Transition from doing, you know, just drawing and, and, and messing around to doing tattoos. Well, that was a kind of a, they informed, when I started tattooing, I tattooed very much like I drew. So it was looked like this. It was all scratchy and, and but on purpose, like I would add these little stray lines and, and uh, uh, everything I tattooed looked like a sketch right. um, because that's just how I drew and that was all I knew. Um, as I ta continued to tattoo, I realized what looked better in the skin and what held up better. And I started to draw even personal things as if it was going to be tattooed. So everything got cleaned up, uh, lines got bolder, uh, colors got more deliberate just because even though I wasn't going to tattoo it, I kind of learned a different drawing style just from my, my other job. That's it, great that both, that both kind of like helped the other, you know what I mean? Your, your right. regular drawing and your tattoo, you, you helped each other. So they kind of met in the middle. Uh, and I would kind of like to do a little more of the sketchy stuff again. Uh, but I really enjoy the bold outline tattoos that I've kind of been doing lately. Uh, you could experiment on me, man. I told you, I want that black Phillip goat. goat on you. I want that black Philip goat like right up here on my on my on my shoulder, <laughs> and then I'm gonna cry like a baby, like I told you. It's gonna be amazing, and then I'll cry and hold you. Oh, you're being so supportive. You're so supportive, Mike. <laughs> so uh, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Because this these are some questions I think are great for all artists, right? Do, what do you listen to when you're drawing like or or watch or do whatever to, to sort of like play into your uh not distractions but in the background of your or your mind while you're working oh i am a i am a soundtrack listening fool uh now i have my collection of movie game and tv show soundtracks is uh scores or like or like the songs i mean uh, the scores mostly but some of them you, you know, you put it on shuffle and you'll get a couple weird songs here and there, but that's that's fine. But generally, it's just the the instrumental stuff. I really, I really enjoy. Uh, uh, I mean, sometimes you get some. Sometimes you look out and you get a good uh, like Judgment Night soundtrack. You know, oh my gosh, the Judgment Night soundtrack. 
<laughs> what a terrible movie. What a great soundtrack. Uh, the, the, uh, the Man from Uncle, uh, mm. the, new the new one. one? Yeah. The soundtrack, incredible. That movie is completely forgettable, but. Who does that soundtrack? Are you talking about the score or the soundtrack? The score. Oh, who does the score? Don't, don't. Well, now I got to look it up. Now I put you on the spot. That's if anyone in the, I'm busy. Anyone... I'm busy. All right, mm -hmm. let's see. We got, oh, we got, uh, oh, here we go. So for those that don't know, Mike is, Mike, you're moving to a new tattoo place, right? You, I am moving. Uh, uh, so uh, Dare Machina has a question. What's the most exciting part of you heading to Vault Tattoo? The most exciting part? You know what the most dynamic part is, is I have gotten rid of so much stuff out of this house. I don't want to talk about that. No, I do. Let's talk I know about you that. Don't. Uh, uh, I have to move out of, I've been in this house for 15 years. It's a three bedroom with a big garage and I have filled it completely. Uh, and I'm headed to a little two bedroom place. Uh, so I'm kind of excited to see what life looks like when I just bring the bare minimum. Uh, yeah. Well, listen, I was very upset. If anyone wants to see what made me, I don't know if it's still, it was an Instagram story where you showed all the artwork, all your little sketches that you just threw in the garbage. I almost, I flipped out. All right. That's out of context. Uh, that was, <laughs> those were existing tattoos. Those were just the sketches of the tattoos I'd already done. So it wasn't like, yeah, but still I would love them. Oh, I, a... I know, but those, Technically, those kind of were belong to those people that come, you know, got those oh, tattoos and whatever. All uh, right, I'll forgive it. I'll forgive it. A lot it's of people were were wounded by that little story. <laughs> I thought it was kind of a fun journey into <laughs> my day, and everybody got real upset. Real, I was like, no, it's fine. Uh, yeah. Everything's fine, guys. Yeah, I, I uh, straight up threatened you. Um, you didn't mention that. Daniel Pemberton, by the way, is the one who did the score for Man from Uncle. It's so good. It's so good. Everyone look that up and, and we're going to listen to that later. Uh, so this is what? This is Photoshop, right? Because uh, Raul Rodriguez wanted to know what you use on your iPad for drawing. You use strictly Photoshop? I don't, actually. I use oh. uh, that tear is ridiculous. Um, I actually use Clip Studio. Uh, at the time, the Photoshop app was not great. Uh, when we all jumped into the iPad world. Um, and Clip Studio was the closest as far as the tools and, and what I was used to. Um, I just loaded up Photoshop to the iPad thinking it might be easier for me, but it's still, it's still weird. And I keep going back to, to clips. Um, no. I've got it mostly figured out. There's still a few fu funky things, but yeah, Clip Studio is my, is my go-to right now. There you uh, go, Raul. It's Clip, Clip Studio for the iPad. Clip Studio. It's got a little paper clip I, uh, icon. Uh, and it's great. Now, Jazz is Jazz is asking, what is one of your favorite tattoos that you've done? Man, I did... Uh, I keep going back to this uh, Bilbo <laughs> tattoo that I did. Uh, it wasn't... It wasn't anything I designed or anything. It was just from the old the old cartoon, that gnarly ass, you know. Ralph Bakshi one? Oh, my Lord. And I just did him just in front of the, the Hobbit door real, you know. I just real, watched that the other day. Oh, my Lord. I, I Going through all my sketchbooks from years gone by, I drew, I pulled from that movie. There's so many pages of weird, wrinkly Gandalf and smog. And, and so when I finally got to do a tattoo of that and, I, you know, pulled it off, uh, I was real, real proud of that. I think I think I love that golem more than I love the uh, the movie version. Even though I love the movie golem, that golem. Thousand <laughs> percent. Uh, you know, what really bummed me out was uh, uh, Thorin. Uh, Thorin in the movie is horrifying and and gritty, and then he's like a supermodel in the movie. And yeah, yeah. Uh, I was like, oh man, this is this is this is a bummer. Uh, yeah, no, my, my girlfriend my girlfriend's in love with that Thorin. She's like, ooh, he's so handsome, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> come on, I got. That's upsetting. I'm, I'm, I'm competing with 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 Thorin, Oakenshield. I mean, come on. I got There's enough out there in the real world. Now I got to compete with him. It's no, it's no contest, my friend. Look at that beard of yours. Thank you. Thank you. I, I'm going to be in the next Hobbit. 
you know, because I'm sure they'll make a sequel. Um, oh yeah. See, look, I got, I got my close up, my beard close up. I got to re dye this thing though. Um, so here we go. Tell me about some artists that have inspired you, my friend. Um, I know, I know one of the number one, so I can't wait for you to just say it. So, cause it's like my favorite. So, Oh, you, you know, I'm just going to say creature box. Is that what you know? No, no, that was, but yeah, some, 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 give me some of your favorite artists that have inspired you. The boys at creature box is kind of my, always my go-to answer. Cause I'm, I love those boys. And last I knew they lived up in North Carolina and they have no idea I'm coming for them. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they were always at Heroes Con and that's where we'd always cross paths and uh, I would just sit there at table and stare awkwardly. Uh, so I'm excited to show up at their place and, and be there awkwardly. <laughs> And stare awkwardly at them. Look at it. We're at the same Starbucks again. Again. Isn't that fun? Uh, so, yeah. Uh, oh, I guess your Alex party is what you're expecting. Well, I, I was. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. That guy, too. That guy. Uh, so, Alex, uh, Creature Box, yeah. Uh, uh, Mike and his Hellboyness um, yeah. are all, yeah. The. The Hellboy art was a real inspiration. It was a real challenge for me because uh, I was never, I never worked my darks heavy enough. Like my, my contrast was never strong. Uh, I still struggle with that. And so those Hellboy comics, studying that is painful at times to just see what he can create with a big shadowy area and a few dots. And you're like, oh, that's a, that's a Victorian laboratory, clearly. Yeah, yeah uh, with, just, with just three little squares of color. Yeah, yeah, so that was a good. I mean, I always look back at that to figure out how to make a lot happen in, in few moves. Um, I talked to Chris Sanders yesterday. Uh, Chris Sanders? And he's got those new statues coming out that look incredible. Oh, the Pumpkin Witch and the Island Girl are killing me. That is bananas that which yeah. is yeah yeah uh, i mean his art was always beautiful i mean you know i went to the society of illustrators and they had a whole bunch of his original art up there and i was like for a mike mignola party like it was a mike mignola thing and i was like staring at the chris sanders art that was up on the wall yeah yeah so that that is also a an inspiration for me i can't believe you I, well i was gonna say i can't believe you pulled that hellboy hand out of your uh, wherever you pulled it out of but i've got I would turn this thing around. I've got my huge Ron Perlman bust like propping up yeah. under right now. I'm making all this noise on my microphone, but yeah, listen. I have the, if I reach my hand out anywhere, there's a piece of Hellboy something. A piece of Hellboy. There's a piece of Hellboy something nearby, and we know. I know about your uh, your your favorite uh, Hellboy character tattoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My my I packed my Lobster Johnson statue yesterday, oh, uh, and wept and hoped. It will be safe. Oh, um, hopefully your stuff is safe, unless it gets lost on its way past New York. But I mean, wait, why would you pass New York? I'm not going to Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> From Georgia to North Carolina, you're going to pass New York. You, it's Listen, it's a roundabout. It's a roundabout, okay? <laughs> you said, man, because we got to hang out last time at Designer Con, dude, and we were, look, you know, we were looking at you a little... By the way, I want to show this off again, because you did have to design a, a 2D figure to translate into 3D. Oh and, yeah, and this is one of my favorites, right here. And we last time we talked, we found out that the clock. I don't know if you could bring it. The clock is what three ten, three eleven. Oh, three eleven. Yeah, it's three eleven. And we we realized it wasn't the oh, band. Yeah. Listen, I want everyone to put on your calendars, three eleven for uh for Mike's birthday, so you can all wish him a happy birthday. Oh man, I went full New York when I said birthday. I was like birthday. birthday. Hey, it's his birthday coming up. Hey, bro. And I'd appreciate that. Yeah. Listen, everyone's got to send you a card because they know now we're basically identity th thieving you right now because we know where you're working and now we know your birthday. <laughs> I, I, just, I screen share this whole thing. It's just my social security number. Just yeah, like, it's, uh, it's it. The whole left side is your social security number. But now everyone, I want, now I'm calling for anyone watching. You have to send Mike a card to Vault Tattoo on 311. Or just send me, oh yeah, 311, not the band. Not the band. Do not send them 311 CDs, please. 
please. You know, no offense to all the 311 fans out there, but. How am I doing? Does this look like the guy? That look, dude, that looks like Mort. You were worried, dude. I had no, I had no doubts in my mind. I had no doubts in my mind you were going to make this awesome Mort. I'm really sad that we're not going to hang out at Designer Con this year. Yeah, the whole, my, my, my nerd energy levels are very low. Like I haven't been around big groups of sweaty, you know, yeah, sneaky nerds in a while, and I miss it horribly. Um, I look, I was thinking about even working designer con. I, man, I had such a great time. Yeah, uh, dude. But yeah, I'm excited for the world to snap back someday. Just you know, shower less, and the smell of con will just permeate the whole house. The smell of con. <laughs> Get the full con ex stank experience. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, correct. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, I mean, you've been you've been uh, quarantining. You've been home, and you know, I've been participating in uh, in virtual coffee club and such. But have you been binging anything good that you want to recommend? Anything? You've oh, been and I quit that marathon like a. Like, oh, I dropped that. Like, you dropped, and what about that? I was training for that through the first quarantine, and then when I found out they, they canceled it, you know, yeah. it was just going to rage on through the rest of the year. Uh, and we got the email that they, I just quit. You hard quit it, man. Oh, I mean, it was a hard stop on that. I was like, oh, sweet. Um, yeah. I'm done. You had uh, all these campaigns, you had virtual coffee club, you had the planking challenge. I mean, I never did a single planking challenge because I was like, I did it for like three seconds. I was like, nah. Cool story, bro. Not happening. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Uh, binging. Uh, I've been, yeah. watching, been watching the boys mm. uh, here and there. Uh, uh, girlfriend and I are watching Arrested Development because. Why not? Because, you know. Watch it. Literally watch it all the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a. I'm not a. Office guy, I'm a Arrested Development guy. Uh, that's not a huge mistake, okay? You have not made a huge mistake. <laughs> what else am I watching? I mean, that's kind of <laughs> we're nothing new. Started Penny Dreadful over, started Archer over. Uh, there's so much good content out there that I'm completely ignoring. I'm just watching all my, you know, going back to old stuff. Does anyone in the audience have recommendations from Mike? I mean, come on, Mike. What are you? What are you doing? Do you have HBO? I do. So I'm why don't you watch? Uh, Raised by wolves. You like that weird heady oh, story stuff, man? I know. I, I everybody's been talking about that one. I need to get on that. Uh, I need to start the new haunting, the new Hill House season. Blind, blind manor. I haven't, I haven't really started it yet. I'm, I'm super into that. I just packing, packing for the first time in 15 years uh, has been all consuming and very overwhelming. So. Uh, so sadly, I'm not been not been very interesting outside of that. Mike, you're always interesting to me. You're always interesting. I lo dude, I love this Mort, man. I love this Mort. You freaking nailed it. My quick Mort. That's not too bad. Nah, dude. Not bad. You're killing it. You're killing the Mort. See, I'm glad. See, I'm glad we had two. I'm glad that we're coming up on 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 spooktacular because you know, I like I like all the spooky, scary horror stuff. And I'm glad to bring Mort back. Now let's start a campaign. I loved my collection of old timey spectacular stuff. I got the apron, I've got the mugs, the masks, all that stuff that used to come in those big packages. Yeah. Oh, the best. I look forward to it. Isn't it awesome being a fan and you know, of, of sideshow stuff and then getting to collaborate. You know what I mean? Especially because oh, yeah. you get to work with Eric, you know, <laughs> Eric's the best. Uh, I think Eric actually did draw me uh, one of the first the first letters, like an actual letter he sent me. He drew a little picture of me with my Fight Club robe and a little mug, uh, uh, and that reminded me when when we threatened to draw you. Yeah, uh, I love that thing. I, I just packed it up, and it's it's a favorite of mine. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see it. Yeah, yeah. when you unpack, dude, we have to have a live unpacking. Oh, Bradley, we got Bradley wants to know what's your workflow like for designing the three D versions of your caricatures. That well, so that was a whole that was a brand new experience for me. Um, Turnarounds and hey, look at my look at my little flippy up. Isn't that nice? Uh, that was a whole new experience for me. So I didn't really 
even understand what like Eric had to kind of coach me through the whole thing because I was completely unprepared. I was doing these kind of finished rendered drawings and I sent him and he'd send a step straight back and said, no, no, we just want the dirty, we just want a whole page of just gnarly, like quick sketches of, you know, right. here's a tentacle, here's a claw, here's a bunch of eyes, here's a few eyes. Uh, and then we just kind of went and picked out the best parts of each thing and just started to narrow down narrowed that field down um so i'm sure over. pain in the ass to work with at the beginning but uh well listen man, uh, you pulled it off man because these <laughs> i have all three of them these are some of my favorite unruly pieces because they're so listen they're so you <laughs> and i absolutely freaking love it man it's so much fun. And so I'm glad you got to do that whole, you know, new experience of doing like three dimensions. You know what I mean? Like well, doing a turnaround. I mean, clearly I would love another crack at it because I need a pink creature of some sort. But now that I have an understanding of what, you know, uh, what the process is, I think I, uh, it would be a little more, a little more fluid and work yeah. out a little better. Well, listen, I look, if, it, if, it's, if it's better than this, then it's going to be, too good because man i'm telling you all the i'm sorry i'm bringing this up and, and i'm bothering everyone with my own personal look at all the hairs like they even even the hair is on there that one that, bit. that one blew my mind yeah yeah all these little explosions sorry i'm like all about my own collection here this, this is about me now but they, they the boys that sculpted that like i i picked up zbrush after that whole experience yeah uh, thinking i could join that world with everybody else. And uh, it was like looking into the matrix and trying to like, or just like, you know, trying to fly a space shuttle on day one. Uh, that thing is a monster. I did not have, you know, I have not given it the time it is required to learn. Well, listen, what did we learn, Mike? What did we learn? Just never give up. I mean, never me, I, up. I yeah. always give up. I literally always give up. I do 2D. Then I, I played with ZBrush for like 30 seconds. I was like, cool, this is definitely not me. Did you play with it? Oh, yeah, dude. It was terrible for me. Oh, yeah. I made this horrible purple ball. Yeah. yeah that's it. That's what I made. I made a ball with smiley face, and it was like the worst thing ever. We, we should compare our balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's go. Let's compare our smiley face balls that we made in, in ZBrush. <laughs> Oh, all right, brother. Listen, what, what do you what do you got to plug? We know you're moving to Vault Tattoo, right? I mean, that's really that's yeah. The Vault Tattoo uh, move is is the big the big thing I have to plug now. I got to rebuild my clientele. I got to start in a new town. Um, so yeah, that's the big the big change in my life. Uh, so we just need to get we need to help people move from Georgia to move all get all of them to move with you. <laughs> I, I I attempted that. I, I've been planting those seeds. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, like, hey, he's in North Carolina. Great. Oh, the weather is so much better up here. Guys, you should move. I heard there's no virus there from yeah. the, the little bit I understand of it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah, Vault Tattoo, man. Everyone, listen, anyone anyone watching from near or around North Carolina, listen, I'm driving down there. It's a straight, when, it's a straight shot for me. So, But anyone else? Make sure you're heading over to Vault Tattoo. But I'm going to head down there myself, man. I told you. I know. Get my Black Phillip. I'm excited. And I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry the whole time. And you <laughs> can videotape it. We can live stream it. That's next episode of Ink Tank, me crying while you do my tattoo. Really? I mean, we definitely, those boys, the, you know, Vault likes to go live on Instagram. Uh, yeah. With some of their pieces. Oh, they would love to have you down for, uh, for some crying. Yeah. Uh, I'll absolutely be down there. But listen, I also want to make sure poopbird.com at poopbird on what? All the Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Well, not every, there's so much that I don't even, yeah. Yeah. All the old stuff. All right, good. So yeah. fo follow Mike on all the things. Follow Man. Mike on all the things. Listen, yeah. I love your Mort. Your, your Mort. I love that drawing. You okay. did a great job. And uh, listen, until next time, man, until I can come see you and I'll, and I, you know, I'll be bothering you online, man. Thanks okay. for coming here and, and, and hanging out with me. I appreciate you. Appreciate Sideshow. And uh, I'll see you very soon. Yeah. Good luck on the move, brother. Thank you, guys. All right. Listen, I love these two guys. They did such a great job. So thank you, Orlando and Mike, for putting up with my uh, absolute nonsense today and uh, creating us this beautiful art. Uh, don't forget that 
next Thursday, the 22nd of October, spooktacular starts. Oh my good. Get, stock up on your coffee because sleep is for the week. We've got reward codes coming. We've got giveaways, game shows, right? So you're not going to be sleepy. You got to stay awake the whole time. And uh, I'm going to be back. We're going to be back with uh, another all live uh, ink tank in November and hope to see you there. And thank you for joining us.